Hey guys, so it's time for another RX Alliance video, and this is for the month of June. Before I get into it, I just want to say that we have openings for permanent members as well as featured artists. Um, if you're not aware, the RX Alliance is a group of artists on YouTube who create art based off of themes pretty much every month. Um, so if you're interested in that, we have... I have the link in the description so you can shoot us a Facebook, uh, shoot us a message over on Facebook if you're interested. So for this we decided that we wanted to try to recreate an old piece of art in our own styles. Um, so we didn't like have like a specific period of time or like anything like that, any kind of time restriction on what we could pick. I personally wanted to make sure that I was before the 1900s, but I, like, just barely got in that. I was, like, it was, like, eight, the 1890s. So, I chose, um, John William Waterhouse's Ophelia, which he did many paintings of Ophelia, but I did one of them. Um, and, of course, Ophelia is... A character from Shakespeare's Hamlet, which I'm not that big into Shakespeare. I know pretty much nothing, but I assume probably most people are at least sort of familiar. Um, so whenever I was deciding on what piece I would do, which I had a lot of trouble with, um, I tried to pick something that was not super reliant on the technique like so some art I think is really um it kind of just becomes not as special if I don't want to say it like that but um a lot of it is really um iconic for the way it was painted and so I tried to avoid that because of course I was trying to paint it in my own style uh or color it in my own style so I tried to pick something that I felt was interesting subject matter or an interesting character or something that was a little bit more um, illustrative, like had a story to it that I felt that I could work with. So um, that was how I decided. What was funny was I originally was going to do Alf, what, what was his name, Alfred Joseph Woolmer's Ophelia, and it didn't work out. I just couldn't get it to look natural. Um, and it wasn't like I decided I wanted to paint some version of, Ophi of Ophelia. It just so happened that a lot of the ones that I was attracted to happened to be of Ophelia, and it was really funny. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's actually a lot harder than you think it is to try to recreate someone's artwork in your own style, or at least it was for me trying to like figure out what was going on beneath the surface um as well as not trying to like straight up copying it like I had that problem mostly like with the clothes I think where a lot of times I wanted to like have all the lines that were in the original um that being said I didn't like copy the exact details so I didn't like count how many leaves there were on the plants and then have that many plants or that many flowers I just like okay r there's this here and that's where I'm gonna put it but I didn't like it's not exact so that was just to try to keep it as natural feeling to me as possible um yeah so obviously I'm doing this with Copic markers um I'll be honest, I almost gave up on this piece. I I started coloring in her hair, and I was like, you know what? This just doesn't feel like it's working. I just really am not feeling this. Um, I don't know why exactly I felt that way. I think, honestly, it's because I have a lot of other things going on right now, and I was, like, thinking about all those things, and I'm like, okay, gotta get past this so I can get to those things. Um, speaking of which... I have some new stickers up in my shop if you want to check those out. Um, on top of that, I've been like doing a couple pieces for an exhibit. I um, 
just just a lot of stuff at the moment like there's a chance that I might be like teaching a class in the fall and there's just like so much prep work going on with that right now and yeah um so I've been kind of even more distant from YouTube than I was before because of all of it um I might have mentioned this before, I probably almost mention this every video, but largely I do YouTube just for fun. It's not something, like, I'm not, like, someone who's trying to create something big off of the channel because, um, a lot of people, like, they like making video content, they like making videos and stuff like that, that's kind of not me, I, I the art really does come first for me, so, um, I just make whatever kind of video I want, you know, so, that being said, um, yeah, okay, where was I? Yeah, so, like I said, I wasn't really feeling it, and then I just kind of kept going with it, I was like, you know, you're this far, Jazz, you should probably go ahead and finish it, so, I really was kind of just going off of my instinct whenever I was coloring this. There wasn't that that much in-depth thought whenever it came to coloring this. And that being said, I am actually really surprised that it turned out as good as it did. Um, maybe I'm just at that point where I can kind of pick decent colors and have them go together nice enough that I don't have to like you know, stress every time I color a piece or something, but yeah, although if you look closely, it is kind of a little bit more rough, like there's a lot of going outside of the lines, it's, it's almost colored a little bit more painterly in a way, even though it has those lines, which, you know, kind of like to be cleaner whenever I use lines, but yeah, so... I really don't have that much else to say about it. It because because you're creating someone else's thing, there is not as much backstory to it, I guess. Um Like I said, links to the other members channels are all below. Remember, we have member openings and, you know, don't be shy. Um I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.